Good day everyone! I am one of the representatives for Group 7 to have an interview with our fellow foreigners. I am Michi Bonchalman together with... And good day everyone! My name is Lovely Shane Perez. And let us welcome our two native foreigners from Taiwan and Canada, a Canadian and a Taiwanese. Without further ado, let us have first Li Nichun. Can you please share something about yourself? And my first question is, how do citizens of your country perceive Filipinos? Hello, my name is Ichun Lin and I'm 20 years old and I'm currently studying at Mapua Malayan Colleges in Mindanao and I am a Taiwanese. So without further ado, let us get on with this interview and proceed with the first question. So first question we have, how do citizens of your country perceive Filipinos? Now, first and foremost, I don't mean to offend anyone, but the first thing that would come to our mind would be workers because they tend to be um, overseas workers. Every Filipino that we usually meet are overseas workers. They work in this country to fend for their family. But other than that, regardless that they work here in Taiwan, that they are in a foreign country, you cannot fail to identify or to recognize their genuine kindness and hospitality. And every Filipino that you have come across, they are really kind and you can just feel their warm gesture towards you. So the second question is, how do you think Filipinos perceive citizens of your country? Okay, so next question we have, how do you think Filipinos perceive the citizens of your country? Okay, so um, I, I genuinely have no idea. But whenever I do have the chance to talk with a Filipino and I mention to them that I'm a Taiwanese, they always, they never failed to um, compliment my culture, my background, and the country as well. I've never heard bad reviews about my fellow Taiwanese or even the country itself. And I appreciate that about them since the first thing that they would talk to me about is my culture and I'm really flattered. And I know that Taiwan is a small country, but I, I'm i really happy that it has made an impact to other people as much as to the Filipino community. So. <laughs> Third, we have described the differences in the manner of speaking. Okay, so next we have described the differences in the manner of speaking. So comparing the way how the Taiwanese and the Filipinos talk, there is a huge difference because the Taiwanese, they talk in a very rapid or in a fast pace. You can hardly even understand a word that they're trying to say. And when it comes to Filipinos, they're very gentle. You can understand precisely what they're trying to say to you. So um, in other words, um, we can describe how the Filipinos talk as gentle or lambing. But in Taiwanese, you can even misunderstand their intention. Like, are they even mad? Or they're trying to rap or mumble? But that is just how Taiwanese really talks. Like, they talk very quickly. Next is, what was your difficult adjustment staying in the Philippines? Okay, so next we have, what were your difficult adjustments staying in the Philippines? So, there really isn't much to say, but I was really surprised as to how the Filipinos really love to have get-togethers and family reunions. And whenever they do have the chance to celebrate any kind of occasion or holiday, they would celebrate with the whole family. And not just their typical family, but with the whole extended family. And that really caught my attention because back in Taiwan, we, we wouldn't even celebrate Christmas. We would just celebrate Chinese New Year, Mid-Autumn Festival or Mooncake Festival and we wouldn't even invite the whole family. It's just me, my siblings and my dad. And yes, also with the manners of the Philippines, they're really kind and soft and gentle. They wouldn't go hard on you. Even if you're, um, they don't even identify differences. As to me, um, by the looks of me, you can pretty much tell that I'm not a Filipino and the way even my height or just my complexion it tells everything that i am not a filipino nonetheless they have treated me well with equality and i really love these things about this country even with the language they even speak well english i can attest to that i have met a lot of filipinos that are well spoken 
And the last one is, have you ever experienced difficulty in transacting or communicating in English with Filipinos? Okay, so next we have, have you ever experienced difficulty in transacting or communicating with Filipinos? So my answer to that is no, I have never encountered such a problem. Even if they're not fluent in English, they are very creative and efficient. They always find a way on how you can understand them or them to understand you. So the language isn't really the problem. They're just really efficient. I really like that about them. They always find a way on how to understand with each other. And they're also very kind and respectful to have a conversation with. So I've never really encountered such a problem. Next, we have Mr. Doria. My name is Lovely. Sir, may I know your name? Dorian. Oh, Dorian. So, my question for you is, how do the citizens of your country perceive Filipinos? Uh, well, I live in Canada, so there's a lot of Filipino nurses that go to Canada to study and help uh, with the at hospitals over there, so definitely we appreciate the help. So We're very accepting of Filipinos, and we even have Jollibee over there, so you can, you can make sure that there's a lot of Filipinos in, uh, in Canada. Thank you so much for that. So next question, sir. Um, how do you think Filipinos perceive citizens of your country? Canada? Uh, well, I know Canada has a good reputation as an international country and very accepting. Like we have a lot of multicultural people living in there, so I think I think they're perceived very well. So, um, <coughs> describe the differences in the manner of speaking. Um, what was your difficult adjustment staying in the Philippines? Um, okay, so the heat probably, because I know I, was, I, I escaped Canada, yes. I, I'm on vacation, but I escaped it mostly because I knew it was going to get cold, but it's still pretty hot, you know, even for Canada, we have hot days, but not as hot here. Yes. Um, also, honestly, like the traffic sometimes, you know, crossing yeah. the road is even scary, you know, so uh, we're not used to that. Um, but no, the people are friendly, so there's a lot of things that we actually appreciate of the Philippines. It's just some some structural issues that uh, we need to get used to, but I'm, you know, I'm enjoying it. Thank you so much. Um, so, last question. Have you ever experienced difficulty in transacting or communicating in English with Filipinos? No, no, I haven't. It, they're very, mostly everyone in the service industry knows how to speak English, so it's very helpful. Um, maybe there's a little bit of tra mistranslation, especially the masks, you know, like, yeah. it's hard enough to sp speak in English and understand somebody in English, so it's, it'd probably be even harder with somebody whose uh, second language is English. But I think it's it's perfectly fine, yeah. Thank you, sir. So I think that's all. Sir, thank you very much, sir. Oh, yeah. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, like thank you thanks. very much, sir. Uh, Thank you very much for accepting our invitation to the two of you here in our interview. This project will remain confidential and non-discrimination. This will serve as educational purposes only. Thank you!